This is Brandon Bias from Chichichecka.com and welcome to a Photoshop Beginner's Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your own YouTube background with as little effort as possible. So when you open up Photoshop, go ahead and open a file called YouTube Background Layout, which you can download by finding this video at Chichichecka.com. So when you open this file for the first time, this is what you should see, and as you can see, pretty much everything is done for you. You just need to give it a little bit of customization. But before I jump into this, I just want to let you know that there are a couple of extras included that you can use. For example, side shadows, two different backgrounds, and if you go to the first frame and scroll down, there's something called selection reference, which simply shows you where the info, comments, favorites, share, playlist, and flag are located. Okay, so what can you do with this frame? Well, that's completely up to you. However, I can tell you that customizing the frame itself and all of these blacked out areas where your video, your video description, and etc, etc are all located. So let's say I'm some chick or maybe a homo and I want to make this frame into a pink color. Well, that's really easy. All you have to do is go off to the layers open up your first frame group, scroll down, and click on frame 1, and then go to effects, color overlay. And then by clicking this box here, you can change the color to anything you want, which is a feature that is not included with the YouTube profile editor. So here's the pink color I want, I'll hit OK, but I want to lower the opacity a little bit to make it a little lighter, and that looks good, so we'll hit OK. Okay, so now we have our first frame a pink color and our bottom frame a white color. Again, that is something you cannot do with the YouTube profile editor. You can have these two frames different colors. So let's say I want to make the second frame like a dark purple. Well, again, that's really easy. Just close up the first frame, open up the second frame group, scroll down, click frame 2, and then do the same thing. Go to effects, color overlay. And let's say we wanted our dark purple color, right? And that looks pretty dang good to me, so we'll hit OK and hit OK again. OK, so with, what, maybe 10, maybe 30 seconds of work, we've already changed the color of our frames. And just close this up a little bit. Oops, did not want to turn that off. OK, so what else can we do with this thing? Well, obviously, since all of these black boxes are individual layers, we can edit them in individual ways. But in my opinion, it's good to keep it all uniform and have the same effect throughout pretty much every box. But, you know, that's up to you. Well, let's say we want to drop shadow to each of these parts. So we'll just go to the first layer right here under the first frame group called channel name and go to effects, drop shadow. And there you go, you've already got a drop shadow. And you can change the opacity, make it darker, maybe change the size a little bit. And when you think that looks good, go ahead and hit OK. And let's say you want this effect on all of these black boxes. Well, I would not want to go to this layer, go to effects, drop shadow, and do it all over again. No, I would not want to do that, because that would be tedious. The easy way to do this is to go back to channel name and you see this effects icon right here? Well, to duplicate it and add it to other layers, hold the Alt key and click and drag to the layer you want it to be applied to. So like video list. Now our video list box has that drop shadow at, has that drop shadow add, added to it. I'm just going to keep going through this. <clears throat> and then just keep repeating that. Hold Alt, click and drag, apply the video. And then scroll down. Oh look, this video details doesn't have one. Hold Alt, click and drag, let go. There you go. Now all of these layers right here all have the same drop shadow applied to them. And if we click click these arrows, we can start uh, saving some some space. And 
Of course, if we want these down here to have the same effect, we can just open up our second frame and do what we did before. Hold Alt, click from Video Details, not Frame 1. That would not turn out very good. And then go to Channel Pictures, Recent Activity, Channel Info, and there you go. You're all done. So thanks for watching. Make sure you go to our website, checkit.com, to download this project file and background layout. And thanks again. See you next time.